Yechia Sinwar is not just an enemy of the state of Israel. He's not just an enemy of the Palestinian people. He's an enemy of the world. Good day, folks. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tal. I'm also known as the Traveling Cloud Online. For the last few weeks, I've been here in Israel making some investigative and introspective videos about the current conflict that's happening in the Holy Land. Today's focus of our video is the rat himself, Yechia Sinwar. As you can see by this photo, this monkey-eared human being is the cause of much of the current trouble in the Middle East, and most of you don't actually know his name. So let's begin. God, I hope Yechia Sinwar somehow sees this video. Oh, wait, wait, let me pronounce it the way a true Israeli would say it. Yechia Sinwar. Yech. So, so for those of you guys who haven't had the honor of meeting this wonderful man yet, let me introduce to you Yechia Sinwar. You may have heard his name circulating in news recently because of the October 7th horrific terrorist attacks that took place in Israel by Hamas militant terrorists where they broke into Israel and they ended many innocent people's lives and took people hostage into Gaza. You may have heard Yechia Sinwar's name connected to that because he's actually the mastermind who orchestrated the entire event. What a lovely fellow, eh? But you may be surprised to hear that it's not actually his first time organizing something like this. Shall we play a little game just to have a little bit of fun here? Let's tell you guys 10 fun facts about Yechia Sinwar. Yechia Sinwar was actually born in Khan Yunis in a refugee camp. He was born in 1962 when Gaza was actually fully controlled by Egypt. I wish fun fact number one ended there, but I've got a small caveat to that. Did you know the Gaza Strip was occupied by Egypt? Hmm, I bet you didn't. Did anybody complain about the Gaza Strip being occupied by Egypt? No, especially not Yechia Sinwar. Fact number two, Yechia Sinwar has a wonderful brother. His name is Muhammad Sinwar. Fact number three, of course Muhammad Sinwar couldn't have been a normal person. He's the military commander of Hamas. And side by side, these two terrorist brothers led the attacks on October 7th to infiltrate Israel. Lovely family. In February 2017, Yechia Sinwar was secretly elected, emphasis on the secretly part, to be the Hamas leader in the Gaza Strip. Fact number five about Yechia Sinwar, he actually rejects any reconciliation efforts with Israel, and he actually does not recognize the existence of the state of Israel in any capacity. He has called on Hamas militants throughout his career to capture as many Israeli soldiers as possible. Number six, Yechia Sinwar has a clear policy. Hostage taking is cool. Yechia Sinwar actually uses Israeli hostages as bargaining chips to release Palestinian terrorists from Israeli custody. Pretty cool guy. Number seven, in 2018, speaking to Al Jazeera News, the most trustworthy in my opinion, Yechia Sinwar came out to be a bit of a hypocrite and contradicted himself totally. And I quote, he stated that Hamas would pursue peaceful popular resistance to the Israeli occupation and actually open to begin negotiations with Israel. Bit of a contradiction there, considering fact number eight. Just a week prior, he encouraged Gazans to breach the Israeli siege, saying we would rather die as martyrs than die out of oppression and humiliation. We are ready to die, and tens of thousands of us will die with us. Guy seems pretty level-headed, some clear morals. He doesn't stray from, right? Seems like a pretty pretty good leader, in my opinion. Number nine, Yechi Sinwar in December 2020 contracted COVID. At the time, a spokesperson for Hamas said he was surviving the disease just fine. What a bummer. And number 10, let's speak a little bit more about his health history. In recent history, Yechi Sinwar actually came down with cancer. He had a rare form of brain cancer that he was treated in an Israeli hospital to remove. Instead of praising the Israeli health system, who gave him another shot at life to potentially de-radicalize when he was sent back to the Gaza Strip after negotiations ended, releasing the hostage Gilad Shalit, Yechi Sinwar decided to plan the October 7th massacre. Really just a lovely guy. Okay, so we'll end my previous passive aggressiveness to tell you guys a little bit more in seriousness what is actually going to unfold with Yechia Sinwar and actually pose some questions to you guys, what you guys think will happen with him in the future. So at the moment, it looks like after living most of the last few months under tunnels, barricading himself under the Gazan people, and instead of standing up on top and fighting alongside his Gazan Palestinian brothers and sisters, he decided to take most of their money and resources and barricade himself underground in deep tunnels like a little rat. It seems that Yechia Sinwar has actually fled to Egypt through the Rafah border crossing, narrowly escaping from Israeli custody. And that leaves us where we are currently. In a situation where Yechia Sinwar has uh, formally departed, there are even theories that he may have taken hostages, Israeli hostages with him, literally protect his body with human life, formally walking around as a human shield. And of course, his young children, 
with him as well. The man seems to have given little to no shit about the Palestinian people. And who's left to pick up the pieces? Who is left to clean up Gaza? But none other than the Palestinian people. Yechia Sinwar has proven himself time and time again to be literally subhuman. And for some reason, while it may be propaganda or it may be the news not reaching the people at the correct time, at the correct place, the Palestinian people seem to be unaware of these simple facts. So I'll repeat this message again, and for anybody who wants to say that this video is purely propaganda, by every means you can say that. While Israeli politicians are nowhere near angels, I have never seen any politician do anything even remotely close to what this rat of a human being has come close to doing. So to my fellow Palestinian brothers and sisters, if you think that anybody in the Palestinian leadership cares for your life, you are truly truly mistaken. Put your critical thinking hats on and remember that your enemy is coming at you from the inside. It just makes you think that maybe Yechia Sinwar has something to do with it. So to the innocent Palestinian people who may come across this video, I ask of you to think again and take some action towards your future. Revolt and stand up against this terrible ideology and people like this rat who has put you in the very situation you're in. There's a saying that's very popular, it's don't bite the hand that feeds you. In this case, don't lead a bloody massacre against a people who have saved your life. When you do that, the repercussions, well, they tend to be pretty horrific. Israel is a beautiful country made up with a beautiful society and a diverse society at that, where our Palestinian brothers and sisters live amongst us, freely able to practice whatever religion they want, whether it's Islam, Baha'i, Druze religion, Christianity, or even the amalgamation of faith that the Bedouin tribes have down south and in the north. Palestinians inside of Israeli territory are safe, they're secure. And for the most part, they live happy lives, happier than anywhere else in the Middle East. To my Gazan brothers and sisters who may watch this video, life can be good. Life can be real good. And for the most part, we can live as neighbors and side by side. But your first duty is to erase people like this from your life. You have the power. You are the people, not him. We know that Palestinian people are strong and capable and their faith is undying. So stand up against the very people who are causing you the most misery. Yechia Sinwar is not just an enemy of the state of Israel. He's not just an enemy of the Palestinian people. He's an enemy of the world. With his zero lack of self-responsibility, escaping and leaving his people to rot and die in a horrific humanitarian catastrophe, probably taking with him billions or millions of dollars to start a new life somewhere else in the Middle East, like maybe Qatar, a place that will take him in very willingly. You have to sit and wonder, what will the Palestinian people do next? And you have to hope that at the very least, they'll wake up to the atrocities that this man committed against them. Because at the end of the day, Israel will bounce back and we'll be okay. We've been through this before. While this has been on a scale we haven't experienced since the Holocaust, you bet your ass, this is not the end of Israel. The decisions that you as Palestinians make now and as Gazans make now will define you for the rest of history. The facts are on the table. We know that UNRWA is corrupt and your leadership in Qatar has left you with nothing. There's nobody here who wants the success of Palestinian people more than us Israelis. There's nobody else who wants love and peace and prosperity for them more than our nation because you are our neighbors, not anybody else's. What you do now will go down in history and show your strength and courage as a people. I can only hope and pray and the rest of us that you'll make the right decision. With that being said, See you guys in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye, class.